If you guys remember, we shot this Boeing 737 cockpit door and I think the only rounds that went through were maybe some rifle and the 50 of course. I think the AK and the 5.56 went through it. That's pretty, give us a little close up on this. There's even one bullet here stuck. But there was, we opened one of these up and uh, there's a lot of Kevlar inside of this. It is pretty heavy. Jasper, it does say over here, it's a, I was just checking, making sure it's a Boeing 737. It says it here, B737. So we're gonna use this uh, Excalibur crossbow. It's a micro edition. We're gonna see if it can penetrate this um, cockpit door. We need to get Rigo out of the way. Do you wanna shoot it? No, you. You do it. I don't think you've shot this. No, cabron, you. No, you do it. No. Why not? Just do it. It's more fun when you do it. No, it's more fun when you do it. No, cabron. <laughs> this crossbow has a 280-pound draw. I, I put this a little bit closer, so it's a little bit easier now. Yeah. Move, cabron! It's gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, Jasper, you ready? Um, Here, you, you shoot it. No, you. Here. No, Here's come on. No, no, you, you, you. I don't think you have too much experience with this. Let me go low. No, it's off. All the way up. No, one more. No, it's up. Okay. Okay, we go. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get Rigo out of the way. Rigo, Rigo, Rigo. Rigo. Some of you guys been here for a while know that Rigo is actually deaf. He can't hear. From being old and not because of us shooting here. Okay, I'm ready. Okie dokie. Ready? Ready! No way, it went through? Yeah. Oh my god, look at this thing. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> it did go through. Six inches. No freaking way. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. Wow. A fifth. I think that we shot it with the 500 Smith and Wesson, and that didn't go through. <laughs> but this crossbow penetrated. This is unbelievable, guys. Seven inches. Let me let me take an aim in this area. Let's put a bottle of water there too, just to see what happens. Okay. Okay, here, hold, uh, go, grab this. I'll be right back. Give me. Okay. We'll shoot it right over here. Let's go round two. Okay, ready? I'm ready! Fire in the hole. <laughs> it went in. Here's your result. Oh, what? It's inside uh, four inches. Four inches? How did this hole get over here? Oh. Did it go in and come back out? Probably. I don't know. Wow, look. Oh, oh the, that, tip. the tip, yeah. The tip punctured it and it fell back inside probably. But, so, if you are a pilot, don't get near the door to look through any of these uh, viewfinders. If you stay back far enough, you will be safe. Uh, no? <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming out. Okay, let's open this thing, see if the, that tip is inside. No, the tip go out. You think so? Yeah. Well, that's a bad news then. That's crazy. So, realistically, someone was to be behind this door. <laughs> that tip continues going forward. <laughs> yeah, it's not here. This is very impressive results. Uh, for this to be able to even penetrate it this far, about uh, four to six inches deep, like this one here, on the bottom, that's no joke. The 500 Smith & Wesson couldn't even go through it. It got stopped on these. But it penetrated uh, this thickness of uh, Kevlar. That's it for this video. It was short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.
Rico, let's go. 